Whenever you want to hear my story, come see me. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 4. When we last left off, we got half the ship parts needed to complete Olimar's side story. And this time, let's talk to you. The Bunda. You two are simply amazing! You brought them all back safely! I want to give you something, but all I have is this. Please accept it. It's a lot of this. I know you've already had a lot of this, but I figured you could use some more. You really did some fantastic work for us. Thank you both. I forgot that we had a little bit of pup drive, but we only have one thing to spend it on, so this is a no-brainer. Doesn't really affect all of our side stories, but it's there. Come, let us ponder the puff stool. This devious little bean releases spores that have a hallucinogenic effect on Pikmin. At the first inhale, affectionate sprouts, and affection sprouts, and they are drawn in closer. Then they breathe in more and more of the confusion-inducing spores. Soon they think of nothing but the puff stool as they jump around. Boing, boing, boing. A type of ambulofungus. The current working theory is that the puff stool evolved from a more common species of fungus that gained am animal-like characteristics over time, including the ability to walk. That's sad. There's no mention of, uh, of Puffman. I would have liked something there. Also, he has a butt. Now I can't unsee that. That is a mushroom butt. Huh. The bog swallow. It pops up out of the mud, often with no warning, to say hello. With a body like a hose and a big round mouth, it sates its appetite by feeding on the mud itself. Its six bright eyes mean it's sure to see the fondness we have for it six times better. I hope it eats up all that in unending affection. This, this species prefers to hit inhabit cloudy, stagnant water like that in swamps, and it spends most of its life buried in mud and hiding. Using its six eye-like sensory organs, it can detect minute movements in the water and vibrations on nearby land. It will then forcefully leap out of the water and suck up its prey to feed. With its entirely car uh, cartil cartilaginous skeleton and somewhat primitive features, like its round, chinless mouth, it appears to, uh, to be some sort of primeval creature. Like its cousin, the Hermit Cromad, it makes its home in a burrow rather than a shell. It has abnormally overdeveloped eyes with which to detect prey in cloudy water or low visibility mud. These enormous eyes can perceive circular polarized light as well as the ultraviolet and infrared spec spectrum. It is well protected from predators, allowing it to live for upwards of 50 years and grow to immense size by repeated uh, ectesis, 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 ectesis. Crusted rum pup. Its body is covered in a hard carapace, and it has an extremely ferocious personality. It spreads its sharp fanged jaws to catch its prey. The crusted rum pup suffers from poor vision, but it uses the fine hairs on the lower part of its, its tail and the ball-shaped sensory organ at its tip to detect faint quasi-electrostatic fields emitted by other organisms. In short, it has other ways to sense its predators and prey. Day 5 we travel back to the serene shores, sorry, we travel to the serene shores for the first time and see what horrors await us. Maybe we'll get some new enemies. That can be sweet. The serene shores with three Pikmin types, might I add. I seem to have stumbled across this planet's sea, or one of them. But where are the waves? It's so peaceful. I'll call this place Serene Shores. It will take a while to explore the area with all this water. I'll need a proper strategy to find all my ship parts. I think we explore the water first and foremost. We need to raise up our blue numbers anyway. And what better way than to take out nothing but blues? Let's kill this aristocrat. Two, three. Uh, I go ahead and block them. Our cap is 60. I think we can get to that pretty quick. You know what I'll try? Look at that. Look at that. Attacking from behind from the front. One, two, three. 
And it looks like the... Ooh, we can... Let's do this. Uh, disband? Oh, I, I could have just done that. You can get this right, I think. Maybe. Like, I could have... I could have walked over there with the blues, but I, I wanted to go back to the, to the base. That's why I did that. Can moss carry things through the water? No. Okay, so that was... That was a little bit of a waste. It's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of weird assuming what Moss can or cannot do when we have, you know, another dog in another timeline. Uh, let's see. Can you charge in the water? Oh, it's that guy. We're going to have to fight. Oh, this is going to be weird. Because we're going to fight him in the side story before we fight him in, in the primordial thicket. Come on. Kill him. He has so much HP. Uh, I guess he doesn't have that much. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. Look at... Yeah! That's something that's not possible with the swarm button. Haha! <laughs> you know, when when you guys talked about the reward for, uh, for completing this, I can't help but wonder if you're talking about the swarm button. That would be such a great reward to, uh, to finish the final area with that enabled. Or not the swarm button, the, the sea stick button. Do we fight him yet? I don't think we fight him yet. I, I want to clear out the, the water area, but I don't want to fight a boss with 29 Pikmin. Okay, what is, what is this way? I'm kind of chilling on moss until I know that I need to jump off, because I'm not going to be able to jump on from this deep in the water. Uh, I don't like this. I think I'm... I'm fine. As long as I use a spicy spray, of which I only have one. So, on second thought, let's not use a spicy spray right now. Let's use an... Ice bomb. I don't know if that works in the water. It does! Yes. And then get the other eye. Okay, that didn't that entirely work out. Let's, let's lock on. The eye. And then pack. Spicy spray. Get him in one cycle. Not quite, not quite. There isn't another one, right? Okay, there's not another one. It's just phase two. Ready. He's done. Perfect. This is such a great reward, which we're not able, not able to carry. I want this first. We can't carry that yet, right? Because there's water. And Ochi can't, or uh, Moss can't carry in the water. But we can circle around. So what we'll do... Um, I guess we have to go back to base right now, so we'll, we'll go back to base. It's fine. We, we already need to go back, but we'll, then we'll, we'll go back to base, we'll split up the party, and then we'll send Olimar over to, uh, to grab that ship part. Uh, going to disband. I don't want all of those Pikmin. Disband. Moss, go away. Moss, go away. Okay, there we go. And now... Now I think I'm ready to fight that. So I'll switch back to Olimar. Take care of uh, take care of that ship part, and then we'll fight the weird boss. With whatever... Pig the four Pikmin that I'll have left over, plus Moss, I think we could probably clear that out. Plus, I have bombs, so I, I, I'm definitely willing to go th the nuclear option here. I'm ready. Let's do it. It's gonna be really weird. Fighting a boss on open water. I guess it's not quite open anymore. 
What is happening? What? I'm just gonna throw one Pikmin, see what happens. It wanted to attack the feet. There's something in... Something on the top of it looks like it's attackable, but I don't know how. Maybe I just hit it with a swarm. That didn't do anything. Oh, it kind of did. It kind of did. Oh, they climb up the legs. Okay, they climb up the legs. And then it opens up its something. I don't really want to comment on what just went down. Uh, we're going to use... We're going to use the sea stick to send them up the legs. We're losing a lot of Pikmin, but it's dying. I don't even know. Swarm? They're hitting it. Cool. Yes, die. Okay. Okay, that worked out. That worked out. Kind of. Very weird enemy there. Uh, no, the dog can't do anything. Also, that didn't drop anything for us. That really actually was not worth doing other than the experience of having done it. There are no caves. Just dismount. Is there a, a ship part over here? I suppose I have to kill them. I can't lock on. Oh, I killed the Pikmin. You guys get him? There you go. Get him. Kill him. Kill that one. Good. Uh, what do you do underwater? Oh, I guess he still blow bubbles. Okay. Also, why it keeps uh defaulting me to Ochi? I do not or uh, to Moss. I do not want Moss at all. Go. You die. Get him. Good job. Where is this? Where's the ship part? Is there one? Was there a reason in me coming here? Ah, oh, there's one up there. So I need to swim up there with Moss. Jump on. Ah, oh, good, the cockpit. Always, always one of my sh favorite ship parts to get. It just really gives us that feeling of progress. Also, I think I have the idler's alarm. Do I have the idler's alarm? I, I do. Okay. Oh yeah, there they come. Here they come. Come on. Looks like there's some enemies I'll have to deal with, but man, do I have a swarm. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's get the cockpit. Our 18th ship part. Ah, uh, where am I going now? Sup? Come on up. The surface is fine. I guess we hop across this and then we can clear out all of the water while we're at it. And it looks like I'm, judging by the, uh, the gauge, I think I'm headed towards the right direction. Oh, maybe not. Just Florlick. I mean, it's not just Florlick. It's very good to have. Please die, please. Ooh, that just killed them. Oh, I was hoping it was like a clear cloaking baronet situation where, uh, there would be a couple moments, but no, there are not a couple moments. There's nothing over here? Okay. Just Flarlick. Uh, so let's see. Is this going to be an enemy that I need to have my charge here for? Yes, it is. Oh, I didn't stun him. But at the very least, I can distract him so the Flarlick can get through. That's really what I care about. Okay. Nope. We're good. We're good. Uh, and then I can start climbing the sand castle. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. I think I might want to do that last, it, mainly because the tide is down right now, and I can probably capitalize on that a little bit. So I think what I'll do with the rest of my day is prioritize trying to, um, trying to get another base unlocked. I think that makes sense. Okay, so we have 35 Pikmin 2, or sorry, 54 Pikmin to our name. 
We can get Pikmin on this. That That's going to be important. We're not going to strike too far. Like, I'm not going to fight the Aristocrabs. I'm mainly just walking around, seeing if I can see... There's a base over there. And a wall. We can destroy this really quick. I do... I am invested into building this bridge, though, so I can't stray too far. So I guess what I'll just do is... Take care of just some of the, the extra details. I don't think I can get the floor look in time. I, although, maybe if they build the bridge fast enough, I can. No. There's a ship part. There's a big Wally Wog. Uh, I might have been able to get that if I hadn't been indecisive. But I, I think I, I'm fine straying on the side of caution here. It's just a floor like it's not worth losing Pikmin over. We'll get that partially built. Uh, we have 14 plastic left. It's time. It's time. It's time. No idle Pikmin. We're good. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yellow Pikmin day. We did it. <laughs> I don't know why I switched Pikmin. It just... It was just funny. They switched fast enough. I was surprised. And, and I'm, again, I'm used to Pikmin 1 where it just takes forever. Man, that, that ship's starting to look like a dolphin of the SS variety. That's another day down. Three ship parts. Seven Pikmin lost, but so many gained in all blues. Air armor, tough stuff for us. That's really nice. Uh, an emergency option. I never forget about this. It's uh, it's always on my mind. It's just one of those things that it's so expensive and rare that I, I want to use it when the time is absolutely right. I just need to focus on the small wins I achieve every day and add them all up, and they should equal a successful escape. Nine days left. 